Okay, we're back with another games we played and games we gave up on. I'm Scott. I'm Jen. We're Retro Rivals, and here we are with another stack of games that we've played. We've actually finished quite a few games. We did. And there was a couple that we gave up on. Yeah. They weren't the greatest obviously that's why we gave up on them yeah <laughs> i had nothing to add to that i was just wanted to hear myself talk <laughs> okay so in no particular order i have two switch games jen played back to back back to back bloodstained curse of the moon one and two these these were siege pickups from when we went to siege in 2023 they both play more like an old school Castlevania, not Symphony of the Night, but something you find on like the Sega Genesis. With some modern conveniences, I uh, Modern conveniences of you can play it with only a limited amount of lives, or you can play it with unlimited. And so I played unlimited. Difficulty settings, basically. Yes, you yeah. can make it more difficult or easier depending on, you know, how much you want to be frustrated. But this one's one to two player, which would have been oh. cool. Would have been cool. But it's not a long experience. Like we're talking two and a half hours for the first one and four and a half for the second one is what I spent on them. Yeah. They're both really, really fun. Now, are you ever going to want to play that one again? I will definitely because it's a four hour game. It's Alex not, is not going to play four, that with four me. And a half. I yeah. would rather play it probably co-op. I wouldn't even mind, but Dennis is not a big Castlevania fan. Mm -hmm. He played Symphony of the Night and he was like, okay. But he probably <laughs> wouldn't play that with you, but I will, because I am your best friend. Okay. And then I'm going to put these like this, so I... And, and he's going to I'm going to zoom out of it, and you won't even see it. Okay. This next one is a PS5 game, Death Wish Enforcers. We played it three player, it can be played up to four players. Yes. This... Look at my arm! What did you do? It's an elastic? <laughs> it's gonna look like a... a he just person. let me out of my, my shackles. I took her out of the shackles. I'm like, you must play games. Finish your game now. <laughs> um, one to four player. This had a lot of uh, Sunset Riders yes. influence. Yes. Uh, if you like that game, you'll you'll probably if enjoy this. Sunset Riders and a porno had Not a baby. For <laughs> Not, Not for kids. Not for kids. Not for kids. I think I enjoyed this a little bit more than you or Dennis. Definitely more than Dennis. Well, we're not as good at it as you, so. <laughs> I didn't think I was very good at it either, though. But... Oh, but we were really not very good at it. Yeah. Okay. Like super not. I won't argue with you. Why do I have two? <laughs> Why do I have two coasters? Well, I don't need a coaster. These don't sweat. Did you give me two coasters? I gave you no coasters. <laughs> you brought your own coasters there. Feels like those ended up in the same place. I think so. All right. Another co-op multiplayer game. Oh. Played it, uh, I think finished it a week ago. Mm -hmm. Zombieland Double Tap. Or Zombieland Road Trip Double Tap. Or however you want to say it there. It's all in that. Yeah. Uh, we played it three player. Mm -hmm. What I will say about it is uh, the gameplay itself was enjoyable. The, the too much dialogue. Too much dialogue from characters that weren't even the real actors. No, no, one was well, yeah, the younger I, sister. I don't that know. Was, no, I double. You looked I it up. Double checked it. Double, double tap. Double. She double tapped that. I I checked. Um, one. Almost game-breaking glitch where you're in the uh, the the grocery the, yeah, store. Yeah, the grocery store. We got so stuck. Um, something. There's like a wall there that's not supposed to it's be not there. Not supposed to be there. We got we got stuck. We got stuck, and it was like well, you're in a maze. The grocery store is a maze. And yeah. Just, we were stuck for an hour. Yeah. And we we kept dying. We, we kept dying. It was the difficulty spike was so intense. Although I hated it. That's probably the most difficult level yes although i hated it i think it made the game better otherwise it would have been not a cakewalk not, not the, the not the glitch but the like difficulty the spiked towards the end but it made the game a little bit better even though we finished it mm -hmm. it's a one and done it's a one and done i'd almost say that about death wish enforcers almost almost i liked it a little bit better yeah i still think there's some gameplay left in that with 
an, a fourth that would come yeah. in. Yeah. You throw it in. It's a short game. It's like an, an hour. hour and a half or something, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. And it's there's a lot of see when we say it. gave up games we played and gave we gave up on. I couldn't even say that. Uh, yeah, I did it. Uh, when we say games we played and games we gave up on, there sometimes is. it's just we were giving up keeping that game. We and might have then, played all the way through and it. And then there's games that, that we, we just gave up, gave up on. on. There's a game in here there that we just gave up. Yeah. So. All right. I think we have a heavy theme of co-op. We do. Multiplayer games on the PS4, Curse of the Sea Rats. Thanks for the recommendation, Square Pegs. Shout definitely. out to Jay. Yes, uh, i definitely seen that on one of his videos yes, probably, it was probably a, a year a year ago, probably. Yes. And uh, I was on the hunt for a while. Mm -hmm. We got it for a great price. Yes. yes. Um, you, I think you enjoyed this maybe the most out of the three of us. I love Metroidvania. Metroidvania. There was a lot of backtracking. I mean, the map is definitely Metroidvania style. You're all rats. There's, yeah. I will tell you what. Nobody gave a fart about the story. No. Or the dialogue. Oh, the voice acting was the terrible. Voice acting was not good. Not good. I don't Liked. know where they pulled those accents out yeah. of, but nobody in the world has those accents. Is bad. It might have been racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was all different sorts. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like the graphics. I like the gameplay. Yeah. I hated the I hated the voice acting and the story just was not there. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it was. I, I mean, would you a, play it again? I loved it. I would play it with. I would play I it again. It was, There's no way I'd get rid of that. I thought it was okay. I, I think it might be might be my contender for the best uh, co-op game we've played this year. But I simply can't remember all of them, so mm. that's the problem. Oh, can I just say, the dog bone? If you guys are looking for the dog <laughs> spoiler bone, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! There is a quest where you have to find. A dog bone. Because there's prisoners in a cage and, he's and the them. guard is a dog. So if you distract the dog with the bone, you can get the prisoners out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just trust us. Or do it at the first of the game if you can. Yeah. Or as close as you can. Because, yeah. 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 Well, you, just, you figure it out for yourself. Yeah, it don't. Or look it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> this game we finished last night. More zombies! More co-op. More co-op. Zombie Vikings Ragnarok Edition. Yeah. Play to three player, you can play up to four. I liked the animation. I the thought animation was great. The gameplay itself was average. Yep. I liked the voice acting. The voice acting was really good in this one. The boss, some of the boss fights were infuriating. There was two pretty infuriating boss fights. Yeah. That was it. Dennis could not wait to be finished and I was also, it overstayed its welcome by a little bit. Yeah. Now, when you look it up, it says about six hours-ish. Mm -hmm. You know, how long to beat? Six hours-ish. It took us ten. It, because we really got stuck on two bosses and One it took a lot. One specifically was harder than the other and that was like oh, not quite midway through We the game, almost but... quit. I almost quit though. I did not. I thought it was hilarious. Do you but... remember what the boss name was? Was it like Ramona or something Yeah, like I that? think something like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The screen! The screen needed it's to be shrunk. It's unfair. It's like a... Almost a uh, Smash Bros. style little arena thing, yeah. side to side, but it's it doesn't cover the full thing, so it's cut off the ends just enough, and you've then got three people side, all trying to run around, and you're like, you get to this side, and the other two are on that side. Well, I can't go any farther, no. and the boss comes in, and he's going to kill you, and I'm like, well, I'm trapped. And then the other <laughs> terrible thing I thought is the boss would be on this side, pushing into the wall, and would just disappear into the wall and come, come in on the, the other, other side. side. You can't do that. We couldn't that's do that. Cheating. <laughs> yeah, that's cheating. That's boss that's cheating. Cheating. Um, this one here was a single player game. This is PS your 5. big one for this. I waited a long time to play this one to get a physical yeah. copy. Sea of Stars. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I I, I love the gameplay. The story was fantastic. Yeah. Um, the music was really good, but not elite. I think. Uh -huh. Only because I thought, like, like the end, the end boss. I thought that that music could have been like just more epic, intense. Yeah, just just a little just bit. A but I would still give the music like a nine out of ten. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, 
Love this game. This is definitely in there for the game of the year. There are two endings. Um, I w after I finished it, I went and looked up to see what people were talking about, what they thought of it. Some people didn't like the what I would call the real ending. Yes. The first ending you get felt unfinished, and I... Now I have a question for you. I sure. should have asked you this before. The first ending you get, yep. are you locked into that, or can you go and get the nope. second ending? There's a new game plus after that. Uh -oh, you okay. have to roll the credits in order to go and do all the little quests that you need. You need to gather a bunch of items and yeah. all that, so that when you go back to the last dungeon, mm -hmm. then it changes things. And oh, I won't say okay. how, because okay. I don't want to ruin it, but yeah. much better ending. I, I, yeah, definitely go for the second ending. If, but if you're satisfied with the first one, whatever. Yeah. I had to, I know people didn't like the, the fetch quest part of going gathering all the stuff, but I had done the majority of it, except for the rainbow conches. There are 60 of them. I think I had 43 yeah. when I finished the first game. You fished forever, though. I really enjoyed the fishing. <laughs> you enjoy the fishing in every game. Awesome. It just that's currency. That's money right there. Yeah. Go and catch all the fish there and go and sell them. Money. Yes. Money, honey. Wait. I don't know why I want to check to make sure everything's recording, but I do. Yeah, 17. 17. Okay. Mike's on. That's pretty cool. Every time! Every time! All right. I almost think you can when we're recording a video, I almost think you can see the panic in my face a little bit as I'm like. Just trying not to fart. Did I double check all the stuff? Didn't even hear what I said. Huh? Trying not to fart. I was ignoring you, oh, honestly. Okay. Alright, this game head. we actually completely gave up on the three of us. We played it. Three player co op. Yeah. It is Rogue Stormers on the Xbox One. And so many people in the comments of this pickup video or this new games and stuff video were like, yeah. that looks really cool. Dennis was the first one. He's like, yeah, let's play it. So excited to yeah. play it. It's roguelike. That's the problem. It's like it's like a, a really difficult roguelike because you've got X amount of stages. Yeah, stages. Yeah. And then you have to fight and fight and fight and fight and fight. You finally beat the sec first stage. Okay. Now you can go on to the second stage, but if you lose in that second stage, you fall all the way back yeah, to the start of the game like again. And that's where it just killed us. It's I like, think if you would have only started back to the first of the second stage, we probably could have We probably would have kept grinding away at it. Yeah. For, I don't know if we would have finished it. No. There's zero story. We did put a fair amount There's of time into that. Decent. Uh, Enough to make an, a decision that it just is not our type of game. It might be your type of game if you like a roguelike. But I don't remember how many hours, but... Yeah, it's, it was. We gave up after it was in the first night. It was unanimous. It yes, there wasn't we even. We all were like, we were like, yep, we're, done. we're good. We're done. All right, Jenny, this one's yours. You had talked about it before on a video, and I told you to stop talking about yes. it until you finish it. So I this will be one quick. here, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Yes, on the DS. It is a very like I thought it was going to be a survival horror. I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> ghost Trick. I'm like, it's about ghosts. Uh, it's very quirky. Uh, puzzle game. Puzzle game. It's funny. You're trying to kind of go back in time X amount of minutes before that person died. Try to change change the uh, the events so that they don't die. And that's pretty much the whole game. But you're going back and forth in between the phone lines because you can travel that's in them. That's how you travel. That's how you travel. And there is some time traveling in this as well. And you can really change the course of things in yeah. the past. The ending was really cool, but the ending kept on giving, and it gave too much, and it lost Overstated me just. Overstated its welcome. Yeah, it lost me just a little bit in the ending, but not a lot. I really, really enjoyed this game. All right, next one. I had talked about it before, but me and my son played these. Sniper Elite 3. Mm -hmm. uh, we play couch co-op, but we have to play it online because there's no co-op, couch co-op yes. with this, so I have to get two copies. We bring his Xbox down, I take a small TV, stick beside, but beside the chair, and we play it. Um, we really enjoyed it. This is the second time I've played all the way through it okay. in co-op. I've played with uh, Pat for Oh, okay. Um, not quite as fun as I remembered it. I think I enjoyed uh, number two a little bit better, but number two okay. was a little bit shorter. Okay. Oh. Go for it. Everybody knows I play this to death. With me and Dennis, we play Super Mega Baseball 4, 
played another season, 82 game season, and then you have your playoffs. I we, we just don't get tired of it. We love it. Now we've gone back to number two. So we're now we're playing Super Mega Baseball 2. I think we're around the 50 game mark in that one already. It's about 25 minutes a game. And then once we finish that one, we'll go into number three. Have so you guys already decided? <laughs> oh, we always do that. And then we'll do four, and then we'll go back again. And then maybe they'll make a fifth one. I'm hoping for a fifth. I swear to God, every time he comes over here, Scott's like, you want to make sandwiches for a couple hours? You could play some <laughs> Super Mega Baseball. Like, I hear this all the time to the point I, where I'm like... I moved the PS5 upstairs last night to get rid of <laughs> he did. I played Rebirth upstairs so they could play that. I was like, whatever. Whatever. Have your fun, boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jen. Deadly Premonition. You've talked about it a few times. Yes. Xbox 360 game recommended by the community. Yes, I finally finished it. Had no idea there was Deadly Premonitions 2 until yes. I saw RNG Gamer talk about it. On the Switch, right? Yes, I do yeah. believe. It's, it's a very tongue-in-cheek game. I hate hate there's no fast travel option. That is my biggest gripe with this game. I thought it was gonna last forever and the map is just ridiculous, but you forgive it because it's so tongue in cheek. Keeps you entertained. It keeps you entertained. Okay. And he's like talking to himself. It's, it's, it's maddening and hilarious and weird and beautiful all at the same time. Would you recommend that for me? I don't know that you would appreciate That's it as enough. much as me. No, I just... I would enjoy the comedy of it, but maybe you not would. the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, maybe not the rest of it. Last game on the list. Finally! Alice Madness Returns. Played it on the Xbox 360. Overall, really enjoy it. Not as much as Jen, obviously, because Jen loves this mm -hmm. game. I, I have toys, I, too. I have toys from the line. When I break it down, when I, like, the art, amazing. Voice acting is it's amazing. amazing. The music is amazing. The gameplay is amazing. Too long for me, for what yeah, it was. For, I can it just see overstayed that. its welcome. I hated chapter two or level two, the one in the water. Yeah, you didn't love killed that it, one. Killed it for Although me. Although the mini game in that one in the water is pretty fun. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you didn't like those? I loved The ship. Yeah. yeah I didn't see, care I for loved it. the mini games. It was okay. In that. I thought it gave it it's something just a, a little schmuck. extra. Yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, I think because I had started it. Then I had my accent got concussion, and then I jumped back into it, and I was still struggling with some concussion symptoms. It kind of took a little bit away from me. Yeah. Um, I remember enjoying the first level, hated the second level. Third level kind of won me over again. Yeah. And then I loved the, uh, I call the Queen it the, of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts, the House yeah. of Cards, you're in the sky. Yes. Loved that stage, yeah. thought that was the best stage. The dollhouse for me was probably my least favorite, which should have been my favorite because that those it was creepier. Um, it was probably difficult the, to platform. I hated the pinball part. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I was like, why are we doing this? Yeah. and it, it felt a little redundant. It felt like filler. Yeah, yeah, it did, yeah. and maybe that's why you thought it was too long. But I, yeah. I picked that game for myself, so it has, it has a special place. That's, I think that's why it'll always be more to me. For me, I would I would give it somewhere close to a 9 out of 10 overall. Okay. It just, I wish it was a little bit little shorter. A little bit shorter. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I broke it down by category, I gave it nothing but the best of marks. Yeah. But overall, at the end of it, I was just like, I wish it would have been the done. The story in this one is fantastic, too. I want to ask you something in the story. We, we won't, probably can't put, this, put it in this. The... I completely forgot that part of it. I just blew I, your mind. You did. That's what I got from it. And they kind of twisted it for me. And I was like, whoa. Those are our games. We played games we gave up on. Let's, so I, this is a definite give up on. That's already in the trade pile. In the trade pile. And uh, the zombie games. Well, zombie games will probably be one and done. Never touch them again. Yeah, we'll probably keep it long enough to do a PS4 collection at some yeah. point. And then those will be gone. But that's a good. That's a that's a know, good ratio. That's a good ratio. Yep. Yeah. Best game really on good. this table for me was Sea of Stars by far. Oh, yeah. yeah. If I have to go by best game on this table, like I played that you one, didn't play so that it's, one already. I didn't play that one, but that it would be Curse of the Sea Rats for me. So. That over. Mm -hmm. Really. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not picking Alice because I, mean. I didn't play it. Yeah, yeah. But Curse of the Sea Rats. That's over. Yeah. I'm yep. shocked. At I that. loved that. 
Yeah. But there was nothing like, oh my god, to them. Maybe if they had been a longer experience. Maybe if we're talking a 15, 20 hour game. But they were ve they were more basic. I just really liked that. Despite the horrible accents. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That blew my mind. There you go. <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time. Game on. Oh, that was easy. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl.